the last half hour, the Douglas County Sheriff's Office announced an arrest in a 4th of July hit and run crash that killed a cyclist in Highlands Ranch. Denver 7's Eric Lufer just stepped out of a news conference and Eric, what did you learn? Uh, we learned a lot here. We learned the name of the suspect. We're still waiting on his mugshot, but it is Preston James Doris, born April 29th, 1983. We're being told by the Douglas County Sheriff's Office that Doris was arrested in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska yesterday after some extensive police work where not only was the Douglas County Sheriff's Office involved, Aurora Police Department, they played a role in this, including the DEA and the, the police authorities did receive uh, several tips, uh, useful tips, they're saying. In this case, now they have made an arrest and now you're going to hear from Sheriff Tony Spurlock and George Brockler. Listen. We have spent time with the family and that in itself is just really tugged on our heartstrings, um, sitting across from his son and daughter-in-law and his uh, wife and explaining to them the difficulties of working a hit and one crash. When someone is involved in an accident with someone on a bike, whatever fear sets in, you cannot make it better by fleeing. That's my public service announcement. You must stay and own up to the conduct and be there. That is humanity. That is who we are as Coloradans. Now the crash happened around 625 in the morning on the 4th of July in the Parker area. This was south of Pine Drive and Lincoln Street. The suspect, of course, fled the scene, according to authorities. Edward Chuck Vogel, 64 years old, was on his bicycle when he was hit and he later died at a hospital. As we come back here live, George Brockler also talked about uh, just how serious this is for the suspect. One of the major charges, hit and run involving death, that is a third class felony that could come with 4 to 12 years in prison. I'm Eric Lufer, Denver 7.